2.30 on Friday morning. This security vision shows a recently stolen Ford Falcon smashing through a Caltech service station in Wodonga just hours after it was taken from a residence on O'Brien Street in Albury. Here you can see individuals running rampant through the servo during the ram raid. Offenders have then got out of the car, entered the premises and attempted to steal certain items. Servo owner Nathan Haynes was shocked by the damage. All the windows were smashed and glass and stuff everywhere. That's where the crime spree allegedly started for a 19-year-old man and 17-year-old male. Five hours later, the vehicle was involved in two separate high-speed police pursuits along Wagga and Union Road in Albury. Police terminated both chases because of danger to the public. At 3.50 on Saturday morning, the vehicle was again spotted, this time interstate, 300 kilometres away in Griffith. Police pursued the vehicle along Wyangan Avenue, reaching speeds of 140 kilometres per hour in a 50 zone. With police hot on their tail, the suspects drove down this rail corridor before crashing into this concrete storm water drain. Police then surrounded the vehicle, capturing the pair in a dramatic climax. I don't believe that these people um, would have uh, voluntarily stopped. It would have been pursuit after pursuit and we're very lucky that they're in custody. 19-year-old Keith King from Albury has been charged with 17 offences and has since been refused bail to reappear before Griffith Local Court on Wednesday. A 17-year-old male who cannot be named is facing similar charges and will front Wagga Children's Court tomorrow. Dean Foscarini, Win News.